Hey, welcome back to Steve Horvath Fishing. Here's a big debate out there. Worm hooks. Which one's the best? Straight shank? Round bend kink shank? EWG? Now, I've heard EWG bad. Bad men use EWG. EWG miss fish. That's kind of true. That's kind of not true. First, we have to understand the different designs and what I'm actually talking about. The first design. Straight shank, round bend hook. Very similar to the old Sprout style hooks that we used back in the 70s that were blue and had the little bait holder barbs on it. Been around for a long time. Next one is actually an improvement over the old worm hook that was the 95JB, I believe, from Eagle Claw. The kink shank worm hook but this one has a round bend. Last but not least, we've got the evil EWG worm hook. Very evil, bad, bad evil. Now, in order to understand the three different types of worm hooks, you need to know what their pluses are and what their minuses are, because they, there's no perfect worm hook. This guy. Round bend, straight shank. This one's pretty heavy wire for flipping. Really great hook. I won't tell you it's not. It's a fantastic hook for people that are slack liners. What's that mean? That means you get a bite, drop the rod tip real down quick, hit the fish, don't necessarily feel them, and there's some shock associated with it. Great hook for that. If you tie it to the eye of the hook and don't snell your hook. If you snell the hook, you're much better off with more of a sweeping type of tight line hook set, which gives the hook time to do this whole turn thing in the fish's mouth with the sinker. Again, great hook. The old round bend kink shank worm hook has a lot of gap to it. There's quite a bit of gap between the hook eye and here. Great hook set for those that want to feel the fish and great hook for People that are just slacklining it, feeling the bite and, and swinging for the fences. Now, what's the downside of this? It doesn't come through grass with the kink shank nearly as good as the straight shank hook. This is much more weedless, comes through much big, thicker grass much easier. Now, the evil EWG. The one that nobody in the world should be throwing. I throw it. I use it. I don't miss very many fish or lose very many fish on it for that matter. It's because my hook set fits what this hook is designed to do. A slack line hook set a lot of times will pop this right out of the fish's mouth or will skin hook them. So you either wind up with a missed fish or you wind up with fish that you just feel for a second or they jump right off. If you're more of a reel down and sweep the rod type of hook setter, EWG is a fantastic hook. A fantastic hook. So, which hook is the best? The answer is really, it depends upon the style of your hook set. And that's the truth. All three hooks are very good hooks. You just have to understand what the pluses and minuses are. Like I said, the kink shanks don't come through grass and stuff like that nearly as easy as the straight shank. And that's it. Hey, for Steve Horvath Fishing, I'm Steve.